Hello and welcome to Sorted Food. It's kitchen gadget time and we've got a very exciting lineup today. We are going to test, review and explore whether any of these are worthy of a spot in your kitchen. Ebbers, our personal chef, is in the hot seat first. Are you ready? So ready. May I? Of course. I always have mixed feelings about these. Come on. This is the fun, Ebbers. Oh, oh. Fresh out the box. Quite a, quite a good hinge and a great snap. <laughs> and I like the engraving of the brand name, Sushi. The name gives it away. This is the Sushi Maker. The Sushi comes with all you need to get started on your journey from humble beginner to master sushi prepper. Made completely from clean, smooth wood. Barry. <laughs> oh, don't, do, don't, Barry. Don't, 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 don't. Barry, look what you've done. Made completely from clean, smooth wood. The Sushi Maker contains a mold for your sticky rice and filling of your choosing and a prod to ensure the rice is evenly pushed in and pushed out. Can I make some sushi, please? Oh, of course. So step one is to soak the machine or maker. Give it, give it a dip. Give it a dip, make sure it's very wet. So you want to pack the rice into the maker. I'm intrigued to see if this genuinely does work because I don't make sushi often, so when I do, I always mess it up and think I could have done that better because I'm out of practice. That goes on here. Oh, it definitely needs some pressing. Yeah, what you did there, Ben, was you didn't wet, wet it properly. I don't know how much wetter it can be than stuck in water, <laughs> but... <laughs> Ooh, that's amazing, Squelchy. That was wet. Oh, that's oh, good. Okay. Good, good, okay. good. Aha! Same, same. This sushi is now sodden. <laughs> <laughs> A little clumsy, but then... If you've oh, ever don't be tried, so hard on yourself. <laughs> if you've ever tried to actually roll it, that's quite clumsy too. So now we get to put our filling in. Now this is the bit for me that I find very satisfying because usually I, I find it very hard to get my salmon bang in the middle. Yeah. Oh, oh my god! Wow. 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 Well, I make sure you've got a firm grip. Oh, God. And then... <laughs> sushi. That's how the sausage gets made. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, so at this point, you could serve it as is, or you could roll it in some sesame seeds, or you can wrap it in the nori sheet. Which we've got here. Let's do that. Now, you always want to allow the nori sheet to absorb some of the moisture from the rice. We could try one more while we wait. Do another one. Surprisingly satisfying to just see how it all works and tessellate. It's a great bit of carpentry. Put it step behind it, get my weight behind it, and oh then. Oh no, ugh. he's cocked his leg up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just that is a very satisfying log, isn't it? And it's the perfect size. Don't call it a log. Call it a log. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, if they came out of my kitchen, in that consistency, I'd be proud. Mm. If they came out of your kitchen, I would be very proud and very impressed and quite questionable about how that happened. They are very uniform. I think as I was cutting them, you could tell they're not quite as tightly packed. I think when I typically roll with a mat, you're kind of pulling it back on itself. And it is a little on the wet side, but, but uniformality and simplicity, it absolutely works. I was quite surprised. Okay. Shall we have a stab at the price? I'm going to go 19.99. £27.99. Ooh, OK. Fair bit more than I thought. If you do make sushi often, you'd probably have the knack and not need it. But if you've never tried it and want to get into it, it's a good stepping stone. No, it does work, doesn't it? Yeah. It works. Number two, Basil. Lift the cloth. <laughs> OK. A hexagonal toasty machine. Oh, you've gone bubble what I'm going place. for. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Close it, I'm scared. Does this just make a lot of mini toasties? Barry, this is the smart samosa maker. This samosa maker gives you a way of making healthier samosas quickly and easily. Instead of frying them and making them oilier than a spa massage, this machine bakes them. 
It also gives you a way of making batches up to 24 deep filled samosas at once, meaning you don't have to spend all day in the kitchen. Just to clarify, because sometimes we do need to have this transparency, are they your words or the manufacturer's? I, they are the manufacturer's oh, words. Right. <laughs> I want to know which spa you can go to and get massaged in ghee. Barry, what do you think? <laughs> First up, grease up my samosa machine. This bit doesn't tessellate so well. The pre-made filler pas pastry, you have to lay on. So that there is the pea and potato recipe actually from the manual that we've made for you, mate. So already I'm doing it and the filo is cracking. So traditionally, I, as I have been told by Kush, <laughs> you would take your um, specific samosa dough, you'd roll that out and then you'd fill that with your filling and then you'd fold it over in a triangle shape and then you basically go up and down and up and down folding it over into a samosa. They can be deep fried but Kush's mum actually just brushes them with a little bit of oil and bakes them in the oven. So this is not too far away how some people are doing it. Well it's quite very, it's very far away isn't it? Look at it. We haven't seen the results yet but if these work then I'd be intrigued to try it time and time and time again with different pastries, phyllo, possibly puff, maybe even some short crust and mix up the fillings like cheese, like feta and spinach and do kind of that, do some sweet ones. We did the bounty samosas years ago, literally crack a bit of bounty in the middle, like job done. Basically triangular pastries. So it's been about 10 minutes. I think it's about done. The, the paler ones in the middle, that's where I double wrapped. Ah, ah, which yes. might be why as well. It's not what I'd expect from a samosa, but something new. I'm, I'm quite excited by this. Right, should we try some? Yeah. They don't look bad. I mean, they don't look like traditional real proper samosas, no. but they, they don't look unappetizing. Cheers. 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 They do the samosa thing. They haven't got the same crack and crunch. Well, Fido adds a different texture to it. Mm. But it's not bad. No. I tell you what, the filling, which is from the, the booklet, tastes delicious. Mm. Are we doing a terrible thing? I don't know. If someone said to me, Baz, look up 24 samosas, I would, there would be a big sigh and a little bit of panic. Sort of fussy made them putting together a Christmas tree advent calendar. Exactly. The admin of making a samosa, for me, midweek is a bit too much. With a machine like that, it's really simple. And with pre-made phyllo, it's a wicked hack. Do you want to take a guess at how much this costs? I'm going to go ahead and say that is about £46. Turn that six upside down, 49 Well done. Very close. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that could have gone in a few different directions. <laughs> yeah, you can get really nice waffle irons for £100. Um, and that's slightly low quality, but a very specific use. So 50 quid feels about right. And if it was less than that, I'd question how. Didn't expect this, but I think I might take it home. I don't think that was the offer, was it? <laughs> no, <laughs> I think that's what I said about storing it no. back so we can all use it when we want. No, I'll take it home. That. I'll take it home. <laughs> Time for number three, Mike. Ooh. Lift the cloche. <laughs> Vacuum cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> Slice the dice, uh, French fry maker, mandolin. There it is. That's what I was looking for. That's it, Mike. You've guessed it. This is the once for all multifunctional vegetable slicer with stainless steel blades, manual food cutter for chef and household. Once for all. So it's an all in one vegetable chopper which performs perfectly for slicing, stripping, julienning, and dicing. Uh, there's no need to change blades, you just rotate the knobs press the handle down and you can cut various veggies and fruits into any shape and thickness that you want. It doesn't feel stable. Like, Well, Mike, that's because you haven't found the collapsible feature. And there you go. Look at that. Now it's sturdy. AF. OK. Cool. Let's try it. This hasn't been thought through. <laughs> so on the back there, mate, you've got three different knobs. You've got a big one at the bottom. That is your thickness. The two small knobs at the top will then change the direction of the blades 
so that you can have it as slices, you can have it as dices, you can have it as juliennes or batones. Right, let's go slices of cucumber. You wanna make sure your little knobs all the way around to the left and now choose your thickness. Excellent rhythm. Well, what's the consistency like? It's very consistent. What I'd like you to do is turn your big knob all the way around to eight uh, and then your left knob, turn it 360, lock it back in. That's made the spikes go right out. Let's use the potato yeah. and make strips of potato. Sounds like chips Chip. to me. <laughs> Lads, Look chips, chips. Mate, I did want chips, but I'm also now a little bit hungry for like parmentia potatoes. So for this, we need to start with thick slices. So you're gonna to wanna to turn your left hand knob all the way back around again, 360 degrees, lock it in. You've already got the big knob on the thick slice. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. You can put your slices Oh, back me. in and you're going to want to rotate your left knob <laughs> <laughs> the ferocity of the spring like coming back out flicks these forward watch <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> <laughs> once for all you you're not going to get like a perfectly diced dice as if you were to trim the edges off make a square and actually do it by hand yourself I mean, but look, this reminds me of like a sofrito. Uh, let's do a carrot and let's julienne. Yes. Oh, okay. So I think the thing with all of these types of machines, and we've tested multiple of them in the last few years. They've been the backbone of our advertising revenue, let's be honest. <laughs> um, it does depend a lot, usually, on the shape of your vegetable or whatever it is that you're trying to chop. But when you get it right, this seems to work. Normally, they're absolute dog crap, but I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Can you see yourself using something like this at home? For things that require good presentation, or bulk, mostly, I could actually imagine myself using it here, in battles, like genuinely to speed up, like the time trials. It would make things quicker, like bigger, bigger portion sizes, doing stuff in bulk. I genuinely would use it for those things. You three might also need it for your next shift in Medelli. I heard that got shut down by the environmental agency. <laughs> so let's talk price. How much do you think we paid for the once for all multifunctional vegetable slicer? Do you know, like, this isn't the type of gadget that strikes me that you'd buy from Amazon. I'd imagine getting it from something like a Lakeland or like a shopping store. And I therefore would say 25 pounds. I'm not sure I'd pay more than 25 pounds. Okay, well, we bought this from Amazon oh. for <laughs> 27 pounds 59 pence again if you can see see a use for it i think you'd get 27 pounds worth of usage out of it if you were going to use it it would be a waste of that money if you bought it because you thought you'd use it and you never did god ebbers i can't wait to lift the cloche on this one what could it be i don't <laughs> had know. a lot of fun today but it's about to get more fun <gasps> oh. oh it looks like a coffee machine, except you don't get this bit on a coffee machine. Tell me that this is what I think it is. This is indeed Philips, the perfect draft keg machine. Yes! Come on. Beer. We have tested over the years a number of devices that give you that draft feel at home. They're all crap. <laughs> Actually, can I, <laughs> can I just stop you? What we've done in the past is cheap versions. Yeah. None of them have worked, so we've just gone, screw it. <laughs> Try the proper big expensive one and see if that works. Am I right? You are right. And we also got a keg involved um, and we chilled that and I preloaded it into the machine because unlike the others, this actually chills it for you. Oh, okay, nice. Gabriella, chill me. Right. Yeah. such a Dad! Dad! Their words, this pours perfectly cold draft beer from tap to enjoy with friends or to relax after a stressful day. Sturdy with a real bar tap handle that fits perfectly in every kitchen, man cave or holiday house. Everyone loves beer. It or could be uh, any person's any cave. Any person can like beer. Any yeah. person cave or cooking studio. Human cave. <laughs> yeah. Now out of the box, there's some instructions you have to follow, the quick startup guide. And if I'm honest, very easy to follow. Lots of diagrams, lots of telling you when things should click in. 
the top pump kind of goes onto the keg. Then you get this wobbly little tube that goes down the front and clips in. Again, everything clips into place. You slide it into what is a base that is a refrigerator inside the machine once you've opened it up. You clamp down the blue and you leave it to chill. Perfect. So Barry won. <laughs> they do say the first one, you have to run it through the pump, because at this point, there was air in the yeah. pipe. So the second one should be better. Oh, here we go, he's got it. No, no, he's got it, he's got it. He's done it. There you go, mastered it on the last yes. one. Oh, wait. Hey! That's what a beer mat's for. It goes without saying it wouldn't be a sorted pub without some sorted grubs. We've got beer snacks as well. Oh! The machine made the... No, we just have to keep, keep the kitchen busy. Well, Cheers. 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 Cheers all. Lovely. Oh, oh, IPA, floral. That mm. is wonderful. So if these beer glasses are 33 centilitres and you'll get about 18 out of a keg, if you use the Continental 20 centilitres, you get 30. The one we bought was 37 quid. It's about the same as buying cans of beer. Yes. But obviously you're going to have the machine on top of that, which is different, but yeah. This is the closest to draft. That's almost actually indistinguishable yeah. from a draft yes. pint. The head is a bit more bitter. It's yeah. creamy and a bit more bitter than the actual beer itself. And that's what you want because it provides the balance between the head and the beer. And that provides a really good amount of that bitterness with the airiness and I like it. It's a bit extra, isn't it? It's a bit big. Like, is this sitting on your worktop? Where, where, where is this going? You've got to have a big kitchen, granted. Yeah. I also think you have to have immense willpower. Yeah, that is so <laughs> true. <laughs> what, if not I, to pour yourself on for breakfast? Yeah. <laughs> if, I, if that was on my worktop and I knew that there was cold beer in there and I'm working from home, why would I not be having one at lunchtime? Like, that's not good for me. I know that. How deep are you willing to go to pay for this? £300. I'll throw in a keg and a half as well. With the glasses, Oh, what? Of which there were two. Yep. 249. This is Splurgeville. That's what that is. It's Splurgeville. It's not cock. I need to get this now. I've been paid. Mike, during that last conversation, I discovered something about the machine, and I'm going to need your help to show what I think might be its best feature. So this is detachable. So we can just move that out of the way. Oh, I always wanted to do we this. Can move this there and then live, live the dream three two one <laughs> <laughs> oh this is the best job ever well whilst mike is busy over oh. to you guys which of those gadgets would you love to get your hands on comment down below <laughs> <laughs> one more <laughs> It's really hard to swallow from this angle. Now, do you know what else I like? I like okay. strips okay. of carrot. Ne you've never said that. I do. You've never I said do. that. I do. I love strips of carrot.